side of church is the sinner. Is he even justified marrying his own kind? Because you blind, deceived folk, you think when the Pope talks, that's God talking. No, when the Pope talks, that's the devil talking. Now, I know you don't like what I'm saying. I know you don't like what I'm saying. And listen, I don't care if you don't. This is the truth of God. Yes, this Brother began to tell me he was watching the news yesterday. He was mentioning to me, Brother Raj. And he asked him, Did I hear the announcement the Pope made? I told him, No. The Pope's supposed to have made a major announcement that's supposed to have been so major it interrupt all the news stations of the world. And if I'm not mistaken, he said uh, he's condoning same-sex marriages outside of the church. He don't condone it in the church. In other words, he don't condone wrong in church. He condone wrong out of church. So if you're still in the church, I guess you didn't steal. But if you're still outside the church, then you consider the thief. You better give me the book of Leviticus real quick. And let's see what law did God lay down to same-sex marriages. Mm -hmm. I don't care if you're in church. Out of the church, on the side of the church, part of the floorboard of the church, if you live in the bell tower of the church, Amen. if there's a church dungeon. Mm -hmm. hmm. Hear this, viewers, even a male rat got sense enough not to bother another male rat. That's right. In order to have little rats, you got to have a male and female rat. That's right. In order to have little skunks, you got to have a male and female skunk. That's right. In order to have a church full of roaches, you got to have a male and female roach. Amen. I want to make it so plain every plain. heathen can get what I'm telling you. That's right. All of you news stations, why don't you play this and interrupt your news now? Amen. Amen. Why don't you interrupt your news with this? To all politicians and to all churchgoers that agree with Pope Francis, Francis is a liar. Did you hear what I said? Yes, so this is what I'm proposing. And I hope there's an archbishop or some diocese bishop listening or some high-ranking Catholic that are watching and listening. I would love for you to get a letter to Francis. And tell him he got an invitation at one of his former churches. Amen. This, this campus here on the corner of 5th and Lindley used to be called the Church of the Incarnation. The Church of the Incarnation. <laughs> Devils moved out 
and holiness came in. Amen. Amen. We threw out all the idols. We smashed up the images. And got rid of Gog and Magog and Mesech and all the idols. We threw them out. But Mr. Francis, or Miss, whatever he wanted to go by, <laughs> I want the Pope of the Catholic Church to have a televised discussion. Is same-sex marriage justified in the eyes of God outside of church? Outside of church is the sinner. Is he even justified marrying his own kind? Because you blind, deceived folk, you think when the Pope talks, that's God talking. No, when the Pope talks, that's the devil talking. Now, I know you don't like what I'm saying. I know you don't like what I'm saying. And listen, I don't care if you don't. We have the same book of scriptures. That's in every Catholic church. We have the same book of scriptures. That's in every Catholic convent, in every Catholic rectory, in every Catholic school. We have the exact same scriptures. All right. Let's hear what the word of God said. First in the book of Leviticus. All right. Turn them up. Turn them up loud. Amen. All right. First in the book of Leviticus chapter 18. And we'll start at verse 22. Follow me in your Bible. In the book of Leviticus chapter 18. So I, I want CNN, Fox, MSNBC, ABC, Al Shazir's, CW. I, I, I want to interrupt all y'all news stations. Play this now. Let this interrupt every ball game. Let this interrupt the election. Let this interrupt it. I want the world to know Pope Francis is a lie. He lied. He blasphemed. He lied. Sin is wrong regardless to who committed. The sinner not justified because he's a sinner. Listen at what the word of God says. In the book of Leviticus chapter 18 and at verse 22. Follow me. Thou shalt not lie with mankind. Thou shalt not lie with mankind. As with womankind. As with womankind. It is abomination. God talking. That's right. Amen. God didn't break it up in categories and say, oh well, this is just for you church folk. No. Thou shalt not lie with mankind. Thou, he's just making a straight statement. That's right. Telling everybody. Thou shalt not lie hey, with Francis, mankind. Hey, Francis. Amen. Hey, Francis. <laughs> Give Pope Francis the chapter and the verse. In the book of Leviticus, chapter 18 and verse 22. All you Catholics, get your Bible. All of you. The overseer of the Catholic Church is a liar sent by the devil. Right. Did you hear what I said? Hallelujah. I said the leader of the Catholic Church is a liar sent by the devil. <laughs> See, they don't like Pastor Jenny because I'm not bought. Mm -mm, I'm a free, independent, God-made preacher. That's right. I wasn't elected by a board of bishops. They didn't have to come together and wait for a puff of smoke to come up out of a tower to make me an apostle. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory to God, I was made by hands of heaven. Amen. 
How is it? Your religion bow to this great whore. You have drank from the cup of a fornication. Amen. Give me Leviticus. Give me Romans. Yes. And then I want to park and just empty all my quarters and the meter that says Revelation. That's right. I want the book of Revelation, the 18th chapter. 18th chapter. I want to show you why I call the Catholic Church the great whore. That's right. All right, follow me. First in the book of Leviticus, chapter 18, you we're at verse 22. When come in town, you bow. Yeah. We bow to no man. That's right. And we don't bow to no woman. That's right. And we don't bow to no things. That's right. We bow to only God himself. That's right. How is it when the folk come in town, mayors get on their knees, governors get on their knees, presidents get on their knees, Kings and queens get on their knees. Weak, feeble, so-called religious politicians and fake pastors. Go ahead. Go ahead. Even some of you imams kiss the ring of the Pope. Either you're for God or you're for the devil. There is no in-between. Are you listening to what I'm telling you? Listen at this. In the book of Leviticus chapter 18. We're going to strike this out with Bible. That's it. All right. Leviticus chapter 18 and verse 22. All right. Thou shalt not lie with mankind. Thou shalt not lie with mankind. As with womankind. Now there had some homosexuals wrote me. Are you saying because I'm homosexual, I shouldn't work, I shouldn't eat, I shouldn't go to school, I shouldn't have a job, Pastor Gino? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not saying that. No. Mm -mm. There's a homosexual that are very intelligent. So they are. James Baldwin, when he was living. That's right. Very good author. That's right. And an excellent debater. Yeah. That's right. mm -hmm. Homosexual. I'm not talking about that. No. Mm -mm. Ah. <laughs> Amen. Mr. Uh, Lemon, news broadcast on CNN. Homosexual, but a brilliant journalist. That's right. Excellent journalist. Mm -hmm. That's right. What's that other fellow name? Anderson Cooper. That's right. Open homosexual, but a brilliant journalist. That's right. So I am not talking about your work ethic where you get a check. God ain't talking about your work ethic where you get a check. That's right. God is talking about what he did not make your body for. That's right. He made your body to work. That's right. For if you don't work, don't you don't eat. Don't eat. But God did not make you, Mr. Yeah. To share your plumbing. That's right. Am I right? That's right. God didn't make you to share your plumbing That's it. with another man. That's right. God didn't make you for that. No. I don't care if you're a homosexual doctor, a homosexual judge, a homosexual attorney, a homosexual journalist, a homosexual teacher, a homosexual nurse, a homosexual politician. We're not talking about your natural job skill. That's right. We're talking about your physical indulgence. Your sexual behavior. That's, right. That's what, glory to God, the word of God is talking about here. That's right. Listen to what Moses said. In the book of Leviticus chapter 18 and verse 22. Follow me. Thou shalt not lie with mankind. Thou shalt not. Not lie with mankind. As thou shalt not lie. Thou shalt with not mankind. as with womankind. In the same manner, you lie with a woman. It is abomination. Amen. Amen. No one say, I don't understand what that means, Pastor Jenner. Break it down. 
Notice the language of the Bible. Thou shalt not lie with mankind. Shouldn't lie with mankind. As with womankind. As. As with as womankind. With womankind. It is abomination. In raw terms, you should not be trying to have sex with a man. That's right. The way you have it with a woman. That's right. And in the book of Leviticus, chapter 20. You should not be trying to have sex with a man. The way you have it with a woman, mister. That's right. Amen. You should not be doing that. That's right. You should not. Yes. Somebody said, do you believe in gay rights? That depends on what right you're talking about. Do gays got a right to eat, folk? Yes. Talk back to me. Yes. Talk back to me. Yes. Do gays got a right to sleep? Yes. They got a right to have a job? Yes. They got a right to have an education? Yes. They got a right to be a doctor? Yes. They got a right to be a chef? Yes. That's right. But do they got the right to have sex with each other? No. What? No. What? No. What? No. Now in the book of Leviticus chapter 20. Are you listening at this? And verse 13. It's in your Bible, Catholics. Follow me. In Mr. Francis, get off your Pope throne. <laughs> Come on down to the common chair that I sit in. That's right. I want you and I, you say you are an apostle. That's what they say. I have declared to the world that God made me an apostle. <laughs> so come on. Come on, Mr. Apostle, because no apostle in that Bible talk like you, Francis. No. No apostle in the Bible talk like you, Francis. That's right. Come on, Francis. That's I'm right. calling you out. Here's one apostle to another. <laughs> I'm calling you out. I want you and I to get the Bible in the public. In front of the cameras, I want you to justify what you said by the Bible. That's right. Viewers, understand this. Let me just break up the myth about the Pope. One, he is not next to God. Two, his word is not gospel. Only God's word is gospel. So you sinners out there that are happy now because you got Pope Francis on your side, that happiness will be short-lived. Oh yeah. Because what he did was gave you an invitation to be an abominable people and to be cast into hell. That's right. You say, Peter, was your first pope. But Peter never preached that garbage. You said Paul was a pope. Paul ain't never let I show you what Paul preached. That's right. Give me, let's go right to Rome. Right to Rome. Right I want to Rome. go right to Rome. Right to Rome. I want, I want the pope and every Catholic, every diocese bishop, every archbishop, every Catholic that are watching, I'm challenging the pope of Rome for an international televised discussion. I want your Pope. Listen to Pastor Jennings. I want your Pope. I don't want an altar boy. I don't want a weak priest. I don't want a cheap archbishop. I want your Pope. If he got confidence and that trash, listen, I'm declaring to the world what he said was trash. That's right. What the Pope said, that is nothing wrong to have same-sex marriages outside of church. He's a blasphemer. He's a promoter of abomination. He called God a lie. He called the Bible a lie. And as a result, I'm calling him a liar. That's right. You Catholics, 
you Catholics, you shouldn't take this. You shouldn't take this. Don't take this lying down. Get up. Get up, I said. That's right. Write a letter to your pope. Tell him I said I want to face that hypocrite. He blasphemed. Amen. The news was interrupted because the pope had a blasphemy message. Yes. Why don't you interrupt the news with this? That's right. Why don't you play this? That's right. Here's a little man in Philadelphia in America challenging the big old pope <laughs> way in Rome, Italy. Now, I'm going to travel to Rome right to Rome. in the Bible That's right. with the book of Romans. In the book of Romans, Listen. chapter 1, and we'll start at verse 18. Listen at this. For the wrath of God is revealed from heaven. The wrath of God is revealed from heaven. Against all ungodliness. Against everything that's not right. And unrighteousness of men. And what? Who hold the truth in unrighteousness. Uh -huh. Because that which may be known of God is manifest in them. What is? For God hath showed it unto them. God showed it unto them. For the invisible things of him from the creation of the world are clearly seen. Yes. Being understood by the things that are made even his eternal power and God is. All right. So that they are without excuse. Yes. Because that when they knew God, they glorified well, they do not as God, God. They don't recognize them as God. Neither were thankful. Not thankful. But became vain in their imagination. Wait a minute. Amen. How in the world the Pope gonna say it's all right for same sex to get married outside the church? You are vain in your imagination. That's right. That's right. You are vain in it. Became vain. It's, it's a sin for you to even go to the wedding. It's a sin to give a gift to a same sex marriage. Right. It's a sin for you to participate in a same-sex marriage. Right. It's a sin if you're a photographer to even photograph a same-sex marriage. Right. It's a sin if you're a musician to even play for a same-sex marriage. Right. It's a sin if you're a songster to even sing at a same-sex marriage. Right. It's a sin if you're a preacher to perform a same-sex marriage. Right. It's a sin if you're a seamstress to make a gown or a dress for a same-sex marriage. Right. It's a sin if you are baker to bake a cake for a same-sex marriage. That's right. That's right. No man established the law of marriage. That's right. The law of marriage, God installed it. That's right. God enforced it. That's right. God established it. That's right. And every man that come along today must hold the law of marriage in the same manner that God established it yesterday. That's right. Why? God said, I'm the same today and yesterday. Glory. Thank God, hallelujah, and forevermore. These preachers are scared to speak out. Yeah. Even, even they gave T.D. Jakes an interview. He flopped around. Well, there, 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 there's, there's different theologies about homosexuality. There's, there's some theology says one thing, and there's some theology... <laughs> Are you getting what I'm talking about? God said it, we believe it. If God said it, how we feel about it? If God said it, how do we feel about it? If God said it, how do the church feel? Amen. We don't believe no Pope. That's right. Listen, Catholics, That's right. your Pope is still a sinner. Yeah. Himself. himself he ain't repented and been baptized in the name of Jesus Christ he don't have the blessed Holy Ghost speaking in other tongues right. he's just a sinner with red shoes that's it God, God made me like the Apostle Paul oh, yes. and I'm declaring to the world if an angel come from heaven yeah. and bring another gospel that different from what the apostles preach let the angels be cussed that's right to us Pope is not the mouth of God. He's nothing but a delirious old sinner. That's it. Who's promoting blasphemy and promoting abomination. That's right. All right, William, let's go to Rome. Listen to that this and read quick. 
Romans 1 and now we're at verse 21. All right. But became vain in their imagination. They became vain Amen. in their imagination. And their foolish heart was darkened. Wait a minute. What kind of heart did the Pope have? Foolish heart. A fool heart. The foolish heart. heart. Uh -huh. was darkened. Professing themselves to be wise, they became fools. Oh, he thought what he said was so wise. Yeah. So just tell me, what made you come to that conclusion hmm. that it's all right for two men to kiss outside of St. Peter's Cathedral? <laughs> That's right. What made you come to that conclusion? That's right. That it's all right for a man to knock up another man as long as he don't do it in St. Peter's Cathedral. <laughs> Amen. Amen. That's the devil out of hell. Professing themselves to I be told wise. You, when these religion, I've been telling you for years. When a man started religion, that man justified every piece of trash under the sun. Amen. All right. But became vain in their imaginations. They, their imagination is very vain. And their foolish heart was dark. Their fool heart is in darkness. Profess covered by the devil. Professing themselves to be, wise, to be wise, they became fools. They became fools. And changed the glory of the uncorruptible God. To what? Into an image made like to corruptible man. Yes. And the birds and four-footed beasts and creeping things. What is? Wherefore? Wherefore? God also gave God them up. Also, here we write in Rome. Amen. Glory to God, him, the message given from God to the Apostle Paul, right. born in Tarsus in the city of Cilicia, the one whom the Lord stopped. Blessed be God. Amen. And a light shined from heaven right. above the brightness of the sun and knocked them down to the earth. And God let him know that I'm Jesus, yeah. whom you crucified. It's hard for thee to kick That's against the brick. Amen. But go to the street that is called straight, and it shall be told you what you must do. Ananias, right. baptize him, that's God, and lay hands on him that he may receive the sight. That's right. Paul, amen, received the baptism of the Holy Ghost and went straightway, yeah. preaching Jesus was the Christ. Yeah. That same Paul now is down in Rome. That's right. Blasting the Roman foolishness back to hell wherefore, and letting them know what God says. Wherefore? God also gave them up. God! God also gave them up to uncleanness. No, 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 no. God accepted them in their uncleanness. God also gave them up to uncleanness. God accepted them in their uncleanness. God also gave them up to uncleanness. You know, you know, you weak, timid, scared Christians, you scared of this kind of preacher. Amen. Right away you said, you see that, that man is full of anger. Where is your love? <laughs> He's full, but yet they won't say that about the Pope. Oh no, that man can't get up and justify same-sex marriage as nobody said. Yeah, he's he's bad. He's wrong. <laughs> they say the journalists would say the Pope expressed it in such a loving way, yes, a loving do. way. The journalists would all get together in various screens. Well, uh, uh, what do you say about it, uh, Mr. Makuba? Well, I, I, I think the Pope expressed it so well. He <laughs> articulated it well. He uh, did it so nobody of no color, no race can be offended. Uh, what do you say about it, Mr. Williams? Oh, I, I, I must agree with Mr. Hukaba. Um it's just the way the Pope said it. And, 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 then, and, then, and, then, and then and then the Pope said a key thing outside of church. Outside. See, outside of church. Yeah. That lets you know how, how considerate the Pope is. The Pope is the devil out of hell. That's right. You can dress it up. That's right. Dress it up all you want. Yep. God made Adam. And Eve. That's right. That's what God means. That's right. Now I got married, I married a woman. <laughs> if I didn't marry a woman, how in the world we gonna have seven kids? How? When I saw that 14 year old girl jumping rope and saw all them legs, that was a girl I looked at. <laughs> hey man, that was a guy. If that was if that was a boy jumping, I wouldn't pay his ashy knees no mind. No way. Am I right, I said? That's right. I wouldn't even turn my back. That's right. Thank God, but when I got out that car and saw all them legs, thighs, hair flowing, and all momentum slowed down. <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Glory to God, I had to say, hallelujah. <laughs> I ain't gonna say that looking at some man. No way. Am I right, I said? Amen. 
got to be a child of the lowest part of hell. Oh yeah. Claim you a preacher and then say, there's nothing wrong with same sex outside, outside of, of the church. And now I guarantee little uh, priests and little archbishops don't sit around with red hats <laughs> and red and white aprons and agree to abomination. That's right. Any priest agree to it, you're a sinner. Amen. Any Catholic bishop agree to it, you're a sinner. That's right. Any nun agree to it, you're a sinner. That's right. Here, yeah, Pastor Jenner's now, what are you going to do about it? I'm mm -hmm. calling for your Pope. I'm calling for your Pope. He's wanted. Red shoes and all. <laughs> That's right. Come on, son. Romans 1, now we're at verse 24. Amen. Wherefore God also gave them up to God uncleanness. God gave them up to uncleanness. Through the lust of their own hearts. That's the lust of their own heart. That ain't the lust of God. That's right. That ain't the desire of God. That's the desire of your own heart. That's right. And to dishonor their own bodies. They dishonor their own bodies. Between themselves. When a man is with a man, you're dishonoring your body. Mm -hmm. When a man is with a man, you're dishonoring your body. That's right. When you perform same-sex marriages, that's dishonor. To dishonor their own bodies. Two men standing there and some dumb, ignorant, hell-deserving so-called preacher or judge going to say, I pronounce you partners for life. My no, Lord. that's abomination with abomination. That's right. That's right. Get me? Wherefore God also gave them up to uncleanness through God the lust said of their own you hearts. Up to uncleanness through the Lust of your own heart. To dishonor their own bodies between themselves. To dishonor your own body between themselves. Who changed the Who truth changed of God. the truth of God. Into a lie. Hold it. Hmm. Truth of God. The truth of God. Let's read the truth of God. Now in the book of Tobet chapter 8. I want to show you the truth of God about this. In the book of Tobet chapter 8 and verse 6. That's what? Thou madest Adam. Thou madest Adam. And gavest him Eve. And gave him Eve. His wife. His wife. For an helper and stay. Of them came mankind. No. Of who? Thou madest Adam and gavest him Eve for his wife for an helper and stay. Of them came mankind. Two men can't have babies. That's right. Two women on their own can't have babies. That's right. But look how corrupt society is now. Two men get married, two women get married, then they go adopt children. Yeah. So they can pass that spirit down from generation to generation. That's right. Two men walking around holding the hands of a little boy. Yeah. Thinking, putting that corruption in the boy's mind that you don't have to be with a girl. That's right. You got two daddies. No, you don't. That's right. You got two sinners. Amen. All children that are watching. Go ahead. Go ahead. All children Go ahead. that are watching. And your daddy is married to another man. Yeah. Your daddy is evil in the eyes of God. That's right. I don't care if you don't like it. All children that got two mamas. And your mama sleep with another mama. Your two mama actions are evil. That's right. Wicked in the eyes of God. That's right. In the book of Leviticus chapter now, 20. Now, now, now you can get upset with Pastor Jennings and say I'm gay bashing. If you say I'm gay bashing, you television stations, you radio stations, and you internet stations, if you say I'm gay bashing, then take all Bibles and burn them. That's right. Take all Bibles and get rid of them. That's right. Because what I'm saying is in that Bible. That's right. Listen. In the book of Leviticus chapter 20 and at verse 13. Leviticus 20, 13. If a man also lie with if mankind. If a man lie with mankind. As he lies with a as woman. As he lie with a woman. Both of them. Both. Have committed an abomination. Both have committed. An abomination. An abomination. They shall surely be put to they death. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall Their be upon blood them. Their blood, their blood shall be upon them. Shall be upon them. That's right. 
That's how bad God hated. That's right. He said you shall be put to death. Put well, to Pastor death. Dennis, are you saying kill now? No, I can't kill you physically now, but there's another way to kill. That's right. Thank God the Bible said you killed all, all the, the day, day long. Yeah. In the Old Testament, they killed you by taking away your natural life. In the New Testament, you are killed by the word of God killing your desire. That's right. Killing the way you think. Killing the way you feel. Killing the way you love. That's right. That's right. In the Old Testament, they took a sword yeah. and cut you. Yeah. In the New Testament, New Testament, I come with the sword. That's right. Because the word of God, word of God. to sever ties right. between two men. That's right. Amen. Are right, you listening to the old man? Back in Romans chapter 1 and verse 25. Says what? Who changed the truth of God into a lie. You want to change the truth. Mm. Truth is Adam and Eve. That's right. The lie is Adam and Steve. <laughs> Amen. Truth is Adam and Eve. Yeah. Lie is Adam and Steve. In Genesis you, chapter 2 and verse 23. Listen at this. Genesis 2 and verse 23. Right, is it? And Adam said, this is now bone of my bones. Bone of my bones. And flesh of my flesh. Flesh of my flesh. She. He. She. He. She. He. She. she read that right, William. She. He. She. She what? She shall be called woman. She shall be called woman. Because she was taken out of man. No, a man was taken out of a man. She shall be called woman because she was taken out of man. Amen. Where did the other man come from? That's right. That's right. Therefore. This is Bible here. Therefore. See, a lot of folk don't want to read this. No, no. They say right away the homosexual community said, well, see, Pastor Jennings, none of us wrote the Bible. The Bible is only written by heterosexuals mm. or male chauvinistic men who had their own opinion. They don't know what it's like to be one of us. I don't want to know what it's like to be one <laughs> of you. Right. That's right. That's right. <laughs> That's right. That's right. No straight man mm -hmm. wrote the scriptures on his own. Knowing this first. I want you to know this first. Give chapter and verse. Second Peter chapter wait, wait, one. Wait, wait, what, what book you in? Second Peter. Oh, Peter. 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 The, 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 the so-called first pope of the Catholics. Second Peter. All right, Francis. That's right. Hey, Francis. That's right. Francis. Amen. Francis, I said. <laughs> Amen. We want to go to your first pope. First. Mm -hmm. Give chapter and verse of the so-called first pope of the Catholic Church and hear what he said. Second Peter chapter 1, we're at verse 20. That's what? Knowing this first. He said, I want you to know this first. That no prophecy no of prophecy. the scripture. Of the scripture. Is of any private interpretation. Nobody spoke it on their own. Nobody come up with a conclusion of the meaning of their own. Nobody gave their own opinion. For the prophecy came not in the old prophecy time. prophecy came not in old time. By the time, will of man. By man's own will. But holy men of God speak. Well, wait a minute. What kind of men were they, William? Holy men of God speak. How? As they were moved by the Holy Ghost. All right, Mr. Francis. Amen. Who moved you? <laughs> That's right. To tell the world right. same-sex marriages is all right outside of church. Amen. Who moved you to say it? Amen. Because your first pope said, "Holy men of God speak." Holy men of God speak. As they were moved, as they was moved by the Holy Ghost. By the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Who moved you? Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. That God the same thing that moved Peter's moving me. That's right. Yeah. That's right. That's why I agree with the apostles and what they said. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. When you got the same spirit they had, you got to agree with them. That's right. You just have to do it. Amen. What did he say? Back in uh, Romans chapter 1 and verse 25. All right. Who changed the truth of God into a lie uh -huh. and worshiped and served the creature more than the creator. Bless forever. Amen. For this cause For God this gave reason, them up unto vile God affections. gave them up now. Vile. Now God labels the affection vile affection he's laboring the feeling vile affection he's laboring the affections that same sex have to each other vile affection that at no time did he say it's loving no vile. not at all no 
What do God call it? For this cause God gave them up unto vile affection. Vile affection. For even their women. Even their women. He changed the natural use into that which is against nature. The natural use is woman with the man. <laughs> That's right. That which is unnatural. That's right. A woman with the woman trying to make a baby and then going to try to get married. Right. And it's amazing. They, even homosexuals have their own channel. That's right. On mm. cable. They have their own channel. <laughs> There's the LGBTQRSTUVWXYZ network. <laughs> My Lord. Have their own network. Amen. Now they got more gay cartoons for children. My Lord, my Lord. Gay cartoons for children. My Lord. When I came up, we used to watch Sesame Street. <laughs> the gay community kidnapped Ernie <laughs> and Bert. That's right. And now, on Sesame Street of today, yeah. Ernie and Bert are two homosexuals. My Lord, my Lord. My Lord. And you get these weak, feeble, Christian, grown men. Yeah. Passage in him. You got them. You shouldn't be so forcible. Uh, don't be forcible. Just say what you say with love. But what is, what, what, what do you define, say what I say with love? Right. Sounding like Jimmy Swagger. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what you call loving? Loving. Grinning like I have muscle contractions. That's right. Like Joel Austin. Amen. Amen. The Bible says God is love. That's right. And God's word is forcible. How forcible? Let's get Bible. In the book of Job, chapter 6 and verse 25. Job. 625 says, How forcible! How forcible! Are right words. How forcible! How forcible! How Hallelujah. forcible! Are right words. Are right words. But what do if you're arguing reprove? God, God made me a forcible, forcible preacher. That's right. That's right. How in the world are you going to get that boy to pull his pants up in front of another boy telling him, Timmy, you better stop. Pull up your pants, boy. You don't, you don't, you don't do that. You don't, you don't do that, Timothy. Dish, 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 dish. That's right. Dish, dish. You don't do that. You two are boys. Yeah. Yes. Amen. You tell Timothy, hey! That's right. That's right. Hey! <laughs> Don't pull your pants right, up, man. boy. Go ahead. I have you where you can't sit down. That's right. <laughs> Timothy will get the message. Yes, he will. That's right. Amen. Let's go back to Rome, son. Everybody all right? Back in Romans chapter 1 and verse 26. Listen at this. For this cause God gave them up unto vile affection. Yes. For even their women did change their natural use into that which is against nature. Uh -huh. And likewise also the men. Likewise also the men, like yeah. Dirty Harry, when he was here. That's right. That's right. Dirty Harry said he was under the anointing when he was with his partner. You know the devil had him so deceived. Deceived. I mean, that's like deep deception. Amen. He said he felt the anointing of God where he was with his male partner. That's not only blaspheme, that's trying to belittle God. That's right. That's right. For when you will, when you with your wife, you don't need no anointing for that. No. Huh? No. Oh, no. I don't need the Holy Ghost to come <laughs> upon me to be with my wife. No. Uh -uh. Oh, not no. at all. No, no. I didn't feel the moving of God when I first saw her at 14. And I just left church. <laughs> eh? Amen. When I just left church, I wasn't under the anointing. When I saw her jumping rope, I, I wasn't speaking in tongue. That's right. That's right. Eh? Amen. You see, I'm a realist. I wasn't speaking in tongue. And I just left church. Amen. I left a prayer meeting. <laughs> I came out of prayer. <laughs> I came out of prayer okay. and saw her over there. That's right. And old dirty trifling Harry Amen. had the audacity to say that his 
uh, sexual activity was so much involved with this partner, My the Lord. spirit of the Lord came upon him. My you Lord. know you got to go to hell. Oh, yes. You deserve to go to hell. That's right. Go and belittle God and try to make God like wicked, like the human family. That's right. What's wrong with you preachers mm. that you won't stand up for God? Amen. You love money that much? Yeah. Go ahead. How is it y'all sold out around the world? That's right. That's right. Pope, Pope come in town. Yeah. Every so-called denomination. Yeah. They go see him. That's right. Like someone great came in town. That's right. The circus came in town. <laughs> Amen. Pope come in town. Apostolic bishops go kiss his hand. Yeah. Pentecostal bishops kiss his hand. Yeah. Non-denominational bishops kiss his hand. Yeah. Baptist bishops, Mormon bishops, Presbyterian, That's Lutheran, right. Catholic, mayors, governors, That's black, right. white, celebrities. Yes. Woe unto you when all men shall speak well of you. Look, my time is getting away. Amen. Finish up Romans, Romans and get the 18th chapter of Revelation. I have to get that. Yes. Hey Amen. The clock is ticking and clock I got to get ticking. busy. That's right. Come on, son. Romans 1, now we're at verse 27. Yeah. And likewise also the men, leaving the natural use of the woman. Leaving the natural use of the woman. Burned in their lusts one toward another. Wait a minute. Amen. 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 A man look at a man. Same plumbing. <laughs> All the difference is right. one may be fat. One may be tall, one may be short, one may be skinny, same plumbing. Right. No hips. No hips. <laughs> no curves. That's right. Just a totem pole. <laughs> Amen. How in the world are you going to burn looking at that? Burned in their lusts one toward another. But viewers, the Pope now mm. says it's all right. Right. As long as you a sinner outside of the Catholic Church, mm. you can burn. It's all right to burn and have your own kind. My Lord. That's what the false prophet Pope says. That's right. But listen to what the true prophet says. And likewise also the men leaving the natural use of the woman. The men leave the natural use of the woman. Burned in their lusts one toward another. Let's see how plain the Bible make it. Men with men working that which is unseemly. No, men with men doing the will of God. Men with men working that which is unseemly. Men with men doing God's agenda. Men with men working that which is unseemly. Whether you're in church or out. That's right. When a man is with a man, Amen. what does the word of God call it? Men with men working that which is unseemly. It's unseemly. That's right. It's wrong. That's right. That's why I say Pope Francis is a liar out of hell. Amen. Listen at the truth of God now. Amen. Pope Francis is a lie from the pits of hell. That's right. Come on, you Catholic church. Jump on the truth of God. We would like to take you for a ride. Oh, yes. I'm issuing a challenge to the Pope. I'm issuing a challenge to the Pope. Amen. I want my secretary, Sister uh, Meredith, amen, to put together a letter yeah. and send it to the head Catholic church here in Philadelphia uh, with my challenge towards the Pope. I think the biggest Catholic church is downtown. Mm -hmm. Downtown, I forgot the name of it. Uh, cathedral or something. I what is it, Williams? It's a false church. I thought you would know. I, I, I don't know that one, Pastor. Amen. I don't know that one, Pastor. But uh, we, it, it's not hard to find. It's that right downtown. Amen. I want my secretary to put together a letter, and we want to emphasize to pass this on to the Pope, and we are challenging him for an open televised discussion on any platform, I'll come to Rome. Amen. I come to Rome right in the open field. Amen. With God's word, yes. with the word of God in my hand, That's right. like David against Goliath. That's right. And I guarantee I take the entire 
Roman Catholic Church, and I'll remove your head. Amen. Just like David removed the head of Goliath. That's right. I guarantee it. That's right. Glory to God, hallelujah. The thing that make me bold like this hallelujah. is God Almighty. Amen. Himself. Amen. Glory to God, he got this thing written here. That's right. God got it written. How the thing should be ordered. Yeah. And you lying imposters that hide behind a fake European religion. Yeah. Started by men. That's right. Justified by men. Amen. And sanctioned by the devil. Yeah. Telling children it's all right to have same sex. It's all right. All right. Telling young men it's all right to have same sex. That's right. Tell the old men it's all right to have same sex. Amen. Amen. I want, why don't you play this? Mm -hmm. Let this be a news interruption. Why don't you do that? <laughs> That's right. Listen now. Romans 1, now we're at verse 27. Get me. And likewise also the men leaving the natural use of the woman. Yes. Burned in their lusts one toward another. What is it? Men with men working that which is unseemly. Yes. And receiving in themselves that recompense of their error which was meet. Wait a minute. What, 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 that conduct come under what? And receiving in themselves that recompense of their error. What is it? Error. No, it's all right. Error. Pope said it's all right. Error. No, Pope Francis, the liar from Rome, said it's all right. Error. Amen. Bible says, hereby know we the spirit of truth. That's right. And the spirit of error. That's right. Read fast. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge. They don't want this message. They don't want the knowledge of God. God gave them over to a reprobate mind. All right. God said you won't hear his word after he warned you. Yeah. He'll turn you over to a reprobate mind. Let you believe a lie. Let you believe what you want to believe. Let you think what you want to think. Let you feel what you want to feel as an act of rejecting God's counsel for years. To do those things which are not convenient. I told you. Amen. He turn you over to a reprobated mind. That Amen. mean a mind that think all the wickedness of the devil with no repentance, with That's no right. remorse, and no desire to change because you have a desire to do what you want to do and you go to hell for it. That's right. God gave them over to a reprobate mind. God gave them over to a reprobated mind. To do those things which are not to convenient. Do that which is not convenient. Being filled. Being filled. With all unrighteousness. And in time the Pope said it's all right to do it. He's filled with what? All unrighteousness. No, he's filled with hell, Mary, the mother of God. Being filled with all unrighteousness. No, he's filled with the Holy Ghost. Being filled with all unrighteousness. Being filled with the blessed beauty of thy fruit of thy womb, child Jesus. Being filled with all unrighteousness. Hail Mary, the mother of God, blessed be the fruit of thy womb, child Jesus. Being filled with all unrighteousness. Hail Mary, the mother of God, blessed be the fruit of thy womb, child Jesus. Being filled with all unrighteousness. You can fill all the beads all you want. That's you right. and your bees going to go to hell. That's right. Hell. That's right. What? Being filled with all unrighteousness. Wait a minute. How much unrighteousness they got? All unrighteousness. They're filled with it. Filled with all unrighteousness. With all, they're filled with everything that's wrong. Fornication. Fornication. Wickedness. Covetousness. Wickedness. Covetousness. Maliciousness. Malicious. Full of envy. Yes. Murder, debate, deceit, malignity, whisperers. What is Backbiters, haters of God. Yes. Despiteful, proud, yes. boasters, inventors of evil things. Yes. Disobedient to parents. What else? Without understanding, uh -huh. covenant breaking, yes. without natural affection, without natural affection, implacable, implacable, unmerciful, unmerciful, who knowing the judgment of God, you that know the judgment of God, that they which commit such things, they which do these things, are worthy of death, are worthy to die. Not only do the same, not only them that indulge, but have pleasure. But if you get pleasure in them that do, and there are others that do it. That's right. That's right. So, Pope, do you get pleasure? Amen. By seeing two men out there? My Lord. Because you say you want your priest to stop bombing the altar boys. That's right. So That's being, right. That, being that you don't want to see it in St. Peter's. <laughs> Amen. You want to see it on the grounds of the street. My Lord. You're heathen. Heathen. You're nothing but a heathen and a hypocrite and a liar. That's right. 18th chapter of Revelation. I have to give much as I can. Revelation chapter 18, we're at verse 1. Get this. And after these things, I saw another angel come I, down from heaven. I saw a messenger come down from heaven. Having great power. That's what an angel is, a messenger of God. Read fast. 
And the earth was lightened with his glory. Yes. And he cried mightily with a strong voice, uh -huh. saying, Babylon the great is fallen. Glory to God. That's what God gave us. He gave me a strong voice. Strong voice. I'm glad God made me a strong voice preacher. That's right. Amen. I'm not tiptoeing through the toe of sin. <laughs> That's uh, right. No, God oh, has no. made me a strong voice. You don't find me somewhere tiptoeing through the toe <laughs> Telling people, Tiny let, Tim, let, let, let Tiny the church Tim. say, man. That's right. Let the church say, man. Raise your hand and praise the Lord. That's right. Praise the Lord. <laughs> praise the Lord. Not here. Oh, no. Cried mightily with the Not here. Or in fact, God, God says, cry loud. That's right. And spare not. Spare not. Lift up your voice as a trumpet and show my people their transgression. Yeah. Thank you. God in the house of Jacob, this is. That's right. All right, son. And he, and he cried mightily with a strong he cried voice. Mightily with a strong voice. Saying, Babylon the Great is Babylon. fallen. Babylon the Great is fallen. Is, is fallen. Is fallen. And it's become the habitation of devils. Wait a minute. What is the world like now? And it's become the habitation of devils. Habitation of devils. Everything and anything going in the world today That's right. and it's justified by politicians all around the world. That's the right. Democrats justify same-sex marriages and the Republicans justify all other type of religions under the sun that contradict God's everlasting word. That's right. The devil in one hand and Satan on the other. Amen. Uh -huh. And it's become the habitation of devils. Yes. And the hold of every foul spirit. Wait a minute. The what? And the hold, the hold of every, of foul, every spirit. foul spirit. And a cage. And a cage. Of every unclean. Of every unclean. And hateful bird. And hateful bird. For all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of a fornication. Listen at this. Listen at the language of the Bible clear. For all nations. All nations. Have drunk of the wine. Have drunk of of the wine of the wrath of her fornication of the wrath of what of her fornication of what of her fornication of her her fornication her fornication how do you drink fornication what do drinking wine and fornication got in common amen. you know sometimes when a person fornicate they lose themselves and lose control yeah. amen when a person become overtaken by wine they lose themselves and they lose control because they become overpowered by what they are indulging in that's right all right for all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication how many do it for all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Amen. And if you look at all the nations, thank God when a, amen, when a Catholic religion and a Pope come in town, yeah. spreading bad seed. That's right. Uh -huh, spreading bad seed means right. giving out the wrong information that he claims is the word of God. You got people drinking, drinking that it. bad seed. That's right. Drinking the cup of the fornication because the seed is spilling from his mouth. Go because ahead. Because he declared himself to be a representative of God. And really, he's nothing but a fornicator. That's right. Amen. He's going around spilling seed unlawful yeah. and lying and saying that he got it from God. God, because the Bible said the seed is the word. the word, but anytime you got a message that contradicts the word, yeah. amen, seed is coming from your mouth, but it's not the seed of God, so therefore you become a spiritual fornicator. That's right. And all nations, all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. Thank God had drunk of the wine mm. of the wrath of the wrath of her fornication. Of her fornication. And the kings of the earth. Wait a minute. And Amen. kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. Wait a minute. The kings of the earth committed. Look, look at look at you in authority. You got in the same bed with the Pope. That's right. Hey Amen. What you mean got in the same bed? You welcome him. You accept his accept lies. That's right. What he says is appeasing to you. Hey Amen. Right. You feel honored when a Pope come in town. When a Pope come in town, hey Amen. airports divert traffic. Yes, they Highways do. Highways is shut down. Uh, Millet, when he came to Philadelphia, even the military. They brought tanks out. They brought the army out. Oh, they don't even do that for the president. That's right. That's right. President come in town, no military show up. No. Pope come in town, Air Force, Amen. Marines, Navy, yeah. Army, That's right. Coast Guard, yeah. Cub Scouts. That's right. Everybody. That's right. Protects the devil. Amen. 
Listen. And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. Got in bed with her, commit fornication with her. Uh -huh. And the merchants of the earth are wax rich. Even the merchants of the earth are wax they got rich, rich through the abundance of her delicacies. Through the abundance of her delicacies. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, Come out of her, my people. Come out of her. Come out of her, Come my people. Come out of Babylon. That's right. Come out of the false church. Come out of her, my people. Why? 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 Why have they called her? Her. Because her, look at what the Catholic Church produced. Mm -hmm. From the belly of the Catholic Church, she produced Episcopalian. From the belly of the Catholic Church, she got pregnant and produced Go Protestant. From the belly of the Catholic Church, she got pregnant and produced Lutheran. That's right. And if you look at so many teachings of the Catholic Church, yeah. the Europeanism, yeah. is many of it is in the Pentecostal. That's right. I mean, many of the Pentecostal, many of the apostolic preach some of the same lies that Catholics teach, and to dumb they even know it. Come out of her, my people. Come out of her. Come out of her, my Disassociate people. Disassociate yourself. That's right. That's Lord, right. God, what did he say? Come out of her, my people, uh -huh. that ye be not partakers of her sins. That ye don't be partakers of her sins. And that ye receive not of her plagues. Uh -huh. For her sins have reached under her heaven. Her sins have reached the eyes of God. And God has remembered her iniquity. God is going to remember her iniquity. Reward her even as she has rewarded you. Wait a minute. Reward her. God going to give her. As she rewarded you. Uh, they're going to reap what they sow. And double under her, double according to her works. Oh, they're really going to punish them. In the cup which she has filled to her double. The cup that she has filled? To her double. Now, her conduct is styled as a cup. A cup. You know when someone give a cup and got something in it and give it to you, when you trust them, you drink it. That's right. You won't even ask what's in it. That's right. Huh? That's right. Amen. So the Catholic religion come cup. as a cup. A cup. Amen. As a cup. And everybody out here drink from it, sip it. That's and right. And when you sip from it, you sip same-sex marriages. That's right. You sip the lie, Mary is the mother of God. Yeah. You sip the lie that in order to be an apostle, someone got to cast ballots and when smoke go in the air, and as an apostle, you sip go the lie. You sip this trash go that ahead. your whole bees and build idols and pray That's to right. idols. That's right. Drinking from a cup of abomination That's that right. come from the pits of hell. That's right. Huh? In the cup. What? In the cup. In the cup. Which she has filled, filled to her double. Yes. How much she has glorified herself uh -huh. and lived deliciously. Yes. So wait, much, wait, 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 wait. Amen. Do what? How much she has glorified herself. How much have she glorified herself? And lived deliciously. How, how do the Catholic priests live? Live deliciously. When they look at the altar boys, how do the Catholic priests feel? Deliciously. Live deliciously. When the priests look at each other, how do they feel? Deliciously. Now the Pope say they can have same-sex marriages. How does that feel to the sinner? Deliciously. When the Pope condones same-sex marriages, how do the sinner feel? Deliciously. How do the Archbishop feel about it? Deliciously. How do the Catholic deacons feel about it? Deliciously. How do the false churches feel about same-sex marriages? Deliciously. How much she has glorified herself and lived deliciously. Amen. Do you hear this? Amen. Real quick. So that much torment and sorrow give her. Mm -hmm. For she saith in her heart, I sit a queen and am no widow and shall see no sorrow. Yes. Therefore shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine. And she shall be utterly burned with fire. What? For she shall be, she utterly, shall be burned utterly burned with fire. For strong is the Lord God who judgeth her. Lord take God. God going God to let this stuff hit you strong. Strongly. Strong. I don't have time to finish. Thank God. Amen. Hey I got to pick back up yeah. at five o'clock. But you bear in mind, yeah. I, I want you to remember what Moses the prophet said. That's and right. remember, God moved on Moses to tell us, That's God right. shall raise up a prophet like me. And him shall you hear in all things. If a man. And, and the prophet that came after Moses that the Bible was talking about yeah. was Jesus himself. That's right. Amen. Hey he come along. Thank God for filling that prophecy. So Pope, Pope Francis, I want mm -hmm. to say it to you, friend. 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 That's right. The truth of God is challenging all the entire Catholic organization. Amen. The Pope, every archbishop, all the bishops that got on all these funny costumes. <laughs> That's right. Amen. That you're having a trick-or-treat banquet. That's do right. what you want. 
everybody going to come back to the word of God or the whole world is going to hell. Amen. I want everybody to hear this now. Mm. I say the entire world oh. must must then Peter said come unto them. back to what the word of God say or you going to go to hell. That's you right. can hate me all you want. Yeah. I'm not over the air to make friends. I'm not over the air to take your money. I ain't over the air to be your buddy. Right. I'm over the air to tell you what the word of God said right. or else die. Amen. Amen. Pastor Jenny, you don't know who you're talking about. The Catholic Church, we got our own hit squad. What do I care? That's right. I got a hit squad. That's right. There's more with me than it is with you. Oh, yes. Who oh, you got? Jennings? Jehovah? Yes. Hey, man, I got I am. That I am. That's right. For they that be with I us. I care nothing about your hit squad. For they that be with us. I'm telling you what the Bible says. In 2 Kings chapter 6 and verse 13. They that be with us. Are more, are more than they. Are more. Are more than they. Than they. That be with them. That be with them. And Elijah prayed and said, Lord, I pray thee. Open his eyes that he may see. I want you to understand this, Catholics. This is a challenge. That's right. To Pope Francis. I want everyone, I don't care who you are, to understand that this liar, the leader of the Catholic Church, said it's all right, all right. to have same-sex marriages outside <laughs> of church. My Lord. No real man of God will talk like that. That's right. Ain't no real man of God to talk like that. No way. There got to be Satan's seed That's right. to talk like that. And you know the entertainers, they ain't going to have no problem with it. The rappers ain't gonna have no problem with it. You got rappers and R&B singers and movie stars and actors and actresses that condone same-sex marriages out of one mouth and then say you are Christian out the other mouth. You can't get sweet and bitter water from the same fountain. All right. In Leviticus 20 and verse 13. Remember what it says. If a man also lie with mankind as he lies with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. All right, Bill, you believe that? Amen. Or you believe Francis? <laughs> or you believe Francis? You do? They shall surely be hey, put... Hey. You do? Amen. You and Francis is going to hell. That's right. That's right. I'm going to take the word of God over anybody under the sun. Right. Amen. God don't make scared preachers. No. I don't have a scared nerve in me. That's Only right. one I fear is God himself. Amen. Repent and what be you baptized. Got to do, you got to repent. That's it. You got to repent. You got to be sorry about being a sinner. Amen. You ain't no, you ain't no uh, so-called Christian because you went to some church and yeah. bow your head and raise your hands and say you accept Christ. Ain't no Bible told you to do that. No. You went to some church and the preacher said, anybody want to church home? You stood up and held the preacher's hand and you prayed a sinner's prayer or the preacher said, I give you a church home. And you sit on the mourner's bench and got about 37 different works of grace. <laughs> huh? That's right. Ain't no Bible tell you to do that. Ain't no Bible tell you to get some beads and roll them around and say, Hell and Mary, the mother of God, bless me the fruit of thy womb, child Jesus. Hell and Mary, the mother of God, bless me the fruit of thy womb, child Jesus. Hell and Mary, the mother of God, bless me the fruit of thy womb, child Jesus. No, 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 no. No. Hey, man, you take those bees and throw them in the trash. That's right. Those bees can't help you. And let me go further. That little fake image that's on those bees. He can't help you either. That's right. Repent. Then Peter said unto them, repent. You got to get salvation. You got to be born again like it's documented in that book. That's right. Not go to some religion and get what they tell you to have. No, no, no. No. You got to do it like the book. You got to do it like the book. Repent. You got to do it like the book. That's right. And the word of God says what? Repent. Repent. And be baptized. Who? Every one of you. How much? Every one of you. How? In the name of Jesus Christ. Oh, what? For the remission of sins. I, I, if, you don't, if, you don't get, if you don't have this baptism, mm -hmm. your sins ain't washed away and you're not a Christian. That's right. No, ain't no such thing not a Christian according to what Pastor Jennings said. No. I'm reading here. That's right. I'm reading here. Repent and be baptized. In chapter verse. Acts chapter 2 and verse 38. I'm reading it. Don't then, you see it? 
It's in your Bible. That's right. Acts chapter 2 and verse 38 says, Then Peter said unto them, Repent. God wants you to be sorry about your wrong. Be convicted in your old, wicked, stubborn, hellish heart. That's right. Uh -huh. And be baptized, every one of you. Amen. We got water right here now. Yeah. And we got clothes so you can change in. No That's excuse. Right. That's right. Amen. Hang your suit up. Hang your dress up. Amen. We got, we got several here ready to baptize you in the name of Jesus Christ after you repent of your sins. That's right. When you repent, you're sorry about being wicked. You're sorry about being a sinner. And you're ready to make a change on God's terms. That's right. God's terms. That's right.